Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII where it's been a while but I've caught up and I have podcasts to listen to and I'm ready to play this game. I'm pretty sure we were grinding. It's actually been such a long time. Well, not super long, but a long enough time. Man, look at how good I've done. We're all at like level 20. We're doing great. Anyway, <laughs> was I going to go... No, I already went shopping. We're good on the shopping. Okay. I think I just came back here for a save. But maybe I didn't and I'm gonna regret it. But we have to go we have to go east. I do know that. I do know that much. Let's see what we're gonna, gonna, gonna look at it. Yeah. Mount Bor Boromasai should be in the east. And maybe I should watch. Vods before I go. Here we are, though. Okay. We're gonna own this place. And I will see you guys when we have something new happen. I'm really liking this spear, by the way. Love spears. They're my favorite weapons to use in games. Oh, I don't know if anybody's interested or if I mentioned it, but the podcast I'm listening to is, um... I think I probably did mention it, but it's about Tamora Pierce. Well, it's about uh, it's, it's about the books that Tamora Pierce has written. Um. Uh, right now, I'm on the Emlyn Days like books, um, but it's the the podcast is called Tortalan Nights, and it's really really good. If you haven't read Tamora Pierce's books, like her Alana series in Tortal, I don't know how you how you people say it differently, <laughs> but I say Tortal. <laughs> uh, but Tortal maybe. Uh, super, super good. Books that I read constantly as a child, like, and as an adult. Like, there's just, it's what, it's those, it's those books that kind of transcend, um, age, I guess. Like, each time you read them, depending on what your age you're at, you get something different out of them. Ooh, Princess Kiss. That's cool. Got that out of here. Um, anyway. The Tortal books, the initial quartet centers around a lady knight. Which, as you can imagine, would be something I would really enjoy, especially as a kid. Um, but yeah. And then there's others. Like, there's more. Like, it, it's not just about the Lady Knight, but then, like, you know, she has her quartet, and then there are other stories. And the one I always really liked as a kid was the was the second quartet, which has uh, wild magic. And the woman in that one, she uh, has, like, animal magic, essentially, but it's like a, a, it's like a unique kind that not a ton of people have that like which you know kind of obviously maybe but like it's one that's not studied super well and hers is super extra powerful as is right and proper <laughs> yeah. but uh no it's super cool i always liked it like she can like you know as a kid like i always wanted to have the superpower to like talk to animals and stuff like that was in like shape shift and stuff like that yeah Oh okay, yeah, that's what hers is about. And there's other ones too. Like there's, um, yeah. They, they all kind of build off each other in a way, but you can kind of read them in whatever order you want, really. Um, but the Emlyn books are uh, like the circle opens and stuff like that. And they're about like this like ambient magic stuff, which is like magic that's based in like everyday items, like, uh, like weaving and like thread. Uh, or blacksmithing or plants or something and that always intrigued me. There's a weather mage too. I always like the weather mage and the plant mage the best. But I don't know. I, 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 re, I reread them like once every year or so. Like all of them. If I start one I have to reread all of them. <laughs> um, and I really enjoy it. So I've been doing, I've been doing my, my reread. I started last year but uh, I've been finishing up the Emlyn stuff this year. I don't know. It's been really cool to read it, especially to have, like, a podcast. Like, I didn't really... Like, I haven't met many people in real life who have read those books, even though I always felt like they should be, like, super widely read. Like, like now I would compare it to, like, I wish they were, like, almost, like, Harry Potter-level popular, but, like, I almost feel like they... Like, they, they, uh, they were really widely read, but it's just, like, I don't know... A, different 
than Harry Potter, I guess? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm, that's not a very good comparison, but like... Um, I guess. Like, I, like it, the popularity of Harry Potter has its good and bad, but um... Is that one dead? Okay. But... And it's like, but I also don't, I'm not the kind of person that's like, oh, I wish my books that I really loved could say, like, super sneaky secret, and that nobody else could find them. I'm like, no, I want everybody to read them. Please, everybody read them. So read them. <laughs> um, I don't know. They were very influential, I think, in how I grew up and how I saw the world in a lot of ways. And it's been interesting to go back as an adult and reread them. And be like, I remember what I thought when I was a kid, and now it's slightly different. Or now I have like a, you know, I, I've seen much more of the world or something. I don't know. But it's been fun finding a podcast with other women who are like really into them and like read them as kids and are rereading them as adults and like doing like little read-alongs, sort of, but also like you know in interpreting and comparing how they saw it when they were younger to how they see it now and like how like certain things like match up to certain events in the world like in the past and in the present anyway I wasn't planning on talking this long but I do highly recommend them and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself it's, it's been over a week since I played this I guess and I have a hard time remembering things. Um, maybe we'll go. I know we were we got fairly far, but I couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. Okay. Right. I remember we got to the jungle. That's right. Okay. We got to the jungle. And we got absolutely wrecked, and I had to go buy the anti-petrification. Did I buy those, or did I, did I just run? I think I did. I look pretty, pretty stocked up. Gold needle, yes. Okay. And I think I bought the spell that will help. I think I did. <laughs> Let's go. We don't have to grind. It's not bad though. Nope. I wanted to look and see. Let's take out Ash. Bring Bosh. Just for now. Until we get over there, and then I will bring Canelo. Because that was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. It was like those cats or something. They were like totally destroying us with petrification. Okay, since I listened to the podcast while that was going on. Uh, you might not be able to see, but, um, I, the Petrify Stone spell, spell, like the de-Petrify spell, worked really, really well. So, uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. <laughs> Let's see if it'll happen again. Holy, holy these cats. Oh my gosh. They just, this is what happens when you run in and try to steal. Okay, she's doing stone now. It takes a bit to freaking work. Man, I want I need to get something that makes Balthier attack faster, because he is so slow. And he doesn't do nearly as much damage as everybody else does. Like, I think he's supposed to do way more than he does. I just need to get a better gun. Anyway. Oop. We are... Let's head back this way. And 
more easterly direction. Look at that. That's okay. Cool. Alright then. We are on the right path. Okay. I do wonder if some of these areas are ones that, like, you could just totally bypass if you want. Like, it almost seems like you could just totally bypass it. Like, this whole southern area, is that someplace I'm gonna go to, you know? Like, maybe it is, but it seems like they just made a bunch of areas for you to grind in if you want, and then, like, you only need to go to, like, half of them, which is fine. It's just kind of like, what's well, a lot of work. <laughs> so, anyway, we're on the right track. We're doing good. Okay, what is this? <sighs> I knew it was too easy. What is it? The jungle denies us our passage. What have we done? We? No. I. Huh? What's that mean? How are we supposed to get through that? Making an appearance. Come on, I'm um, talking over here. I thought you'd left for good. Hey. Our choices are few. Oh, they're talking Friend? like both here. This is as much for you oh. as it is me. Oh. You are ill at ease. Secret stuff. The Nethersite troubles you. You've let your eyes betray your heart. Oh snap. Right. She's like, I know you, boy. I know what's up. I like it so. It's so fun seeing doing? people that like know each other so well. I don't know. Soon you will learn. She's so cryptic. I love it. So we're gonna go talk to somebody that she doesn't want to talk to, but sees this as the only option. We go to seek aid of the Vira. Ah, okay, okay. I bet they'll be glad to see you after so uh, long. Oh, no. Did you not hear what they just said? I am unwelcome. An unsought guest in their wood. It's because her... I don't know, I'm making it up, but her and Bothier ran off together. And uh, because she hung out with a Hume, I think is what he is what he said once. Maybe they, they don't want, they're upset with her for that because she went her own way and chose to hang out. Not even like a lover's thing, really. Just like that she's associating with a Hume, and uh, they see that as beneath them. Maybe I don't know. This is gonna be interesting, though. Interesting. I love, I love seeing, like, already established chemistry. It's really fun. It's just enough. In the village ahead, you will find her. Nyern. Bring her to what? me. What? She will know why you call her. How do, what? How will she know that? Some random Hume walks up and they're like, Oh, you must be here for the one woman who ran off with Humes. <laughs> Oh, good look at it. Look at it. So glad they have shopkeepers here. I'm glad you guys could show up just in time. Anyway, she said she's doing it for Balthier, too, which makes me think it, it reminds me sort of of that thing, you know, where like two lovers run off and elope, and then like they try, like one of, like they're trying to like make peace, you know, and it's like he's like, uh, like he's super awkward about it. He's like, I don't know if that, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> A map. Sure. I have money. I like maps. I like to know where I'm going. I can't read them, but I, uh, I like them. I like to collect them. Anything else? The jungle chooses who may pass and who may not. I'm as pure as the driven snow. <laughs> All right. Can I? Oh, here. Talk to. You. There we go. 
Oh, did I? That wouldn't do at all. What do you have? You have a better gun. But I would need money for that. Is that... It looks like it is better than what he has. I can get that next, I think, for my girl. Turn one foe to stone. Who would I have that could, I don't even think I have anybody that could use that. Time magic, oh. Yes, much better. His gun was severely underpowered. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. I think we're alright now. This is beautiful. I love the bridge. Like, the the intricacy of the plating looked really nice. More Vera. It'll be weird to see different ones than our companion. Pran. I don't know why, for a second I totally blanked on her name. I'm an innocent young boy. Please don't murder me. I feel like you're kind of like the Amazons. Please don't hurt me. I mean, no harm. Yeah, they don't say Balthier in here. They'll get us in trouble. Their armor looks really cool. Like on their face. I don't know how you would see anything, but that's most armor in this game, I feel like, that goes on NPCs anyway. I'm unwelcome. She will not suffer humes to walk her virgin paths. Her barriers deny you leave whilst you may. Okay, yeah, okay. He, well, okay, then it wasn't just uh, Fran. It was the humes that were also unwelcome. That, I'm sure they're like, how did you get in here? This is a, this is apparently a hidden path. Hi. Oh, okay. You guys. Oh, they're not supposed to leave. Maybe that's why she got in trouble. Cause she, Fran does seem the sort that wants to like walk her own path and do her own thing. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah, no, uh, spring, if spring stays away, how are you supposed to, how are flowers supposed to bloom? Oh, Nira, oh, Mi oh, you have a name. I am not she, what is it you seek? I, I, hmm, could you point me in the right direction? Oh, it couldn't be this easy. Let's see, you guys have names? No. Wood dweller, let's see. Where do I need to go? I need to go back. Over here? Name? No name. I'm gonna assume... I guess I can tab, huh? I'm gonna assume she's on a different area. Hmm, yum, yum, yum. Name? No. Name? Hmm?
You search in vain. She's a salve apprentice. I'm in the medicine zone. She's just beyond the bridge. This bridge? Oh, are you her? Oh, dang. Who do I have with- Oh, who do we have with us? A bunch of humans. Oh, and Balfair did come. How great. How good. This is exactly what we needed. <gasps> they recognize Balfair. We're in trouble. Hey, Mjern lives here, doesn't she? We're here to see her. Oh, voices are off. Why doesn't the princess speak? You will leave at once. Oh, what? Why did the voice come out of somewhere else? That was weird. It is not allowed for humans to walk on these grounds. We'll go as soon as we've seen Mjern. If you can find her. We're not leaving until you let us see her. Hm. We're being unnecessarily aggressive. Fine then. We'll look for her ourselves. You're her, guaranteed. Ah. She just saw Balthier. I'm pretty sure. Oh no. Oh dang, you walked in. I didn't think she'd walk in. I've heard the voice of the wood. She says Mirren is not in the village. Jote, where has she gone? Why do you ask? The wood tells us where she has gone. Or can you not hear her? You cannot. Your ears are dull from hearing their harsh speech, I think. Viera, who have abandoned the wood, are Viera no longer. Mjörn, too, has left her embrace. Oh, dang. Someone else left. And you forsake them in turn? It is the will of the village. Viera must live always with the Born. wood. So is the green word, and so is our law. I mean, it's not bad, but uh, pros and cons. We'll let you worry about keeping your laws. Just do us a favor and stay out of our way. We'll find her ourselves. Why are their voices off? The wood is saying, be nice. I don't know. I don't know why she's responding when he's being so, like, unruly. I've seen Viera outside. Maybe they're ones that were born outside. Our sister has left the wood and gone west. She wanders warrens among men who hide themselves in clothes of cold iron. Thus, to me, has the wood spoken. The Viera may begin as part of the wood, but the wood is not the only end we may choose. The same words I heard 50 years ago. I figured they're long-lived. Getting some juicy backstory on mysterious friend. So it's one of those systems, right? It's fairly frequent. Where, like, if you leave the clan or the land or whatever, it happens in uh, kind of in Horizon Zero Dawn 2 with the Nora. It's a popular enough trope, and it works. Like, it's it's harsh, but in a lot of ways, like, you... Oops, I don't have to do that. Um, like, it can be fair, but also it's very unfair. Like, I don't know. It's in a book, I, one of the Amlin books I was reading with the traders. They have something similar. 
where rules can seem these rules can seem unnecessarily harsh and maybe maybe some traditions do need to change but also these rules are in place to help preserve cultures and ways of life that could be endangered by contact with the outside world which preservation is something that I'm very like you know into on a lot of things but you also can't stagnate necessarily either you have to maybe find a balance not bad Vaughn didn't think we'd get any information out of that I don't know one. why she thought she listened to me. I just so was then, a brat. What was she saying about men in a warren? The Henomagicite mines. Maybe that's what she meant. They lie in Bangor, south of the Osmoan Plain. South! We are going south! <laughs> Look the at that! The entire region is a colony of the Arcadian Empire. Of course it is. There would be soldiers. Is that a problem? Let's move. Friend. Yes? I was wondering what Yote said, you know? About how you said the same thing 50 years ago? Your point? <laughs> uh, how old were you again? <laughs> <laughs> the bald bear's face! Uh, nice fun. <laughs> Surprisingly rude. Try to grow up, please. <laughs> it doesn't matter what species she is. Don't ask a woman her age. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. Uh, okay, perfect. Oh, that was funny. Both <laughs> in your space. The only thing he fears. Asking Fran her age. <laughs> okay, well, I think, I don't know, this might be kind of a short episode, but I hope this is a decent place to stop. I d I've done more talking than I expected. It hasn't even been an hour, it's only been 50 minutes. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm happy to see the Viera. This was actually not at all what I expected, really. I think I kind of expected more like Lord of the Ring elves who are like, they hold themselves apart, but like they, like at least back in the day, they would, you know, they hung out more with like all the, everybody else, you know? They weren't so like closeted, I guess, cloistered. Um, but that's, this is interesting. I wasn't expecting a system, because I have seen like in cutscenes and stuff, I've seen a couple of Viera like, in the background, you know, but they must be ones that were maybe, you know, either chose to leave or were born outside, um, the wood. So, and it turns out time away from the wood can change you a bit, it seems like, which makes sense also, um, but maybe she hung out here for a bit more, she'd get used to it again, but we liked having her with us, so it's good, but anyways, I hope to see more about the gear, at least a little bit, and hear more about like Fran and Balthier and everybody's back I mean we know about Bosch's backstory pretty well but he's got that whole like twin brother thing that we still need to figure out well not figure out but need to address I guess <laughs> anyway this has been cool I'm excited I, I did not expect to see the Viera this time I, at all so that was cool but thank you all for joining me I appreciate it and I hope to see you in the next one